Hey guys, welcome back to Russian Farms today. I bring us another video. During this week is about um, the biggest changes that have happened during the week, okay? And today I'm going to show you guys something very special. Okay, the biggest changes that have happened during the course of this, this last week. Okay, so let's get right on to it. As you guys might know, it has been very windy, so the wind has been able to blow over the broccoli plants. I don't want to try and do, uh, let's get this over. Alright, these will recover and come back to normal. Okay, it's looking up, upwards like that. Okay, yeah, uh, they're just a bit blown over at the moment. Once the wind stops, they'll, they'll return normal. Okay, the I haven't done anything to the nurse during the course of the week. Now, during the course of now, what I've done yesterday, I've managed to mulch all of this with wood chips. Got all my dragon fruits over there, my tomatoes over there, my wood chips, even my eggplants and the lettuces here, all sorted out nicely and ready for um, spring and summer. As we come along here, I come to my um, potato plant, which I've just tied up because it's starting to fall over onto the asparagus. Now, when I go down to the bottom part here of the, the asparagus, look around over there. I've got some more asparagus shoots coming up. It's going to be quite good for the plant. Okay, yeah. This plant's getting actually quite really big now. They are getting really big and it's busy crawling over onto, this, onto the potato plant there. Next to it, I've got my um, jam tomato. Just got a snip of all these, all the suckers on here. Okay. Know that they should be doing quite well in a while. And then when, once I go next to the potatoes, I've got my fennel. Things starting to get quite a bit big at the moment. Oh yeah, this thing is doing such amazingly, very amazing. Okay guys, just on Friday, a couple of days ago actually, I was able to prune back the peas from all the dead leaves and ones affected with the um, leaf minus and ones with blight on them. I managed to cut those back off, letting all of this here grow nicely on top. All this grow nicely while I let, while I actually train this plant here, actually grow on the stratus. Fortunately, this trellis doesn't have quite small holes, it's got a large gaps in between it that I sort of sort out like that. If I have much left, then I could uh, sort it out nicely. Okay, I've got in the strawberry plant. Still seems to be making quite a bit of fruit, just like two pieces of fruit at the moment. Still quite small, still getting quite big. Playing on getting big. Yeah, that's doing quite well. As I move on over to here, this part here, I've got some my I've got some onions planted. About a new plant that I have recently planted over here, with the marigold over there. Yeah, this here I've got some onions planted here, yeah, mulched up over here. Now these are starting to take right off after I've planted them just yesterday. Uh, so these are doing very excellent at the moment and very well. Next thing that I, that I have changed, is so I've pruned the tomato plant back a bit. Yeah, I've pruned back this tomato plant. And I'm fortunate at the moment, right now. Got to play caterpillars on it. Don't know why it's got caterpillars. Okay. I've got some cherry tomatoes here ready to harvest. And what it looks like. Okay. No capital on the side of leaves. Okay. Now all this stuff here is doing quite well at the moment. It's all very healthy. P producing an excellent amount of tomatoes for me over here. Put this sun on the top of the wind. That has been very windy lately. A lot of wind has come. Okay. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. As you move on from that bit here, all the change from there, we move on to here. With my um, rocket, seems to do quite well. Got a good good harvest from that. And I got my um, garlic chives. 
Then you find what was, what's, what was this little fennel. Now we've seen what I changed in here recently. That I've got an um, cuttings from a fig tree actually. I'm trying a little experiment. I'm trying to prop propagate these. See if I can pro propagate these into the soil. Which I think should be quite. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I don't think it would work. But that'll be fine. Okay. Two peanuts and peppers. If you got, if you're watching this, this is in my um starting pepper plants. A uh, crusader variety of um bell peppers. This is in my um starting plants. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start my pepper seeds next. Well, at the end of August, in the beginning of September. That's when I'm gonna start my seeds. I'm gonna put a YouTube video up on it. Okay. So here, I've here here, and those two over there. I've gotten my um. Crusader variety bell peppers. I'm not too sure they are bell peppers, but I think those are there. But they're sweet peppers. Okay, which seem to do quite well at the moment. Here I've got my kale, which is just getting enormous. Enormous. Time for another kale smoothie sometime soon. Okay. Underneath here I've got my other kale plants with the others, with the rest of them. Those are just like a smaller variety, just. Make small leaves, but they're plentiful though. And looks like I don't look like it's just been eaten a bit. A bit, a bit. Yeah, look like it's been eaten a bit. Alright, I'll sort that out now when I'm done with the video. Okay, next up, next I've got my strawberry plant. I've cut back all dying leaves. All these are burnt on the edges like this, like that there. Well, but more severe. I've cut those back, I'm not leaving all these yet to grow. See if I can get it to grow back again. Because recently yeah, I has recently suffered from overwatering. Yes, I'm guilty. I've overwatered my plants, but might be bad. Okay. Okay guys. As we move on. From here. From there to here. I've got these Swiss chart plants, which is getting enormous at the moment. Yeah. With the broccoli, so I want to make the next set of leaves since I've got them. Yes, majority of the bed this bed here has been mulched at the moment with some wood chips that I've got hold of. Quite expensive though, but yeah, it worked. Yeah, I've got my eggplant and a larger one. Seems to be doing excellent in this location actually. Yeah. Quite quite well. Once spring hits, then it's gonna start bouncing up. Yeah, again, I showed you guys I've got in my uh, two bell peppers. Okay, along with mulching the bed yesterday that I've done yesterday, I've gotten some new flowers. These are called Victorias. They're not some lavenders. No, they are called Victorias. I brought these in for pollinators. Yeah, it's a little, along with this mince plant here. Yeah. I'm going to spend from the moment, I hope we'll make flowers sometime very soon in the future. Yeah, I've got more of these Victorias here. What I've planted on the sides, yeah, I've planted some onions. I've got some multi stone onions here. I also got from the um, nursery. Yeah, those are also starting to do quite well but, since I planted them. Now, over here in the middle, I've got my marigold. Marigold 1 and Marigold 2. Seems to stop making their smaller flowers at the moment. Which I think is quite exciting. And hopefully, they'll actually surprise see what color they are. Because I don't know. Because they have come from a packet. See packet with random colors. With random colors. Marigolds. So I hope to see what the color they are. Now along here. I've got more kale here. And more kale over there. Okay. Along next to this, my strawberry planter, which I actually love this spot for. On the edge here, I've got some more lettuce that I've harvested this morning. Harvested this morning so I can have save some for lunch this afternoon. Yeah, everything here seems to do quite well. I'm gonna top this off. Okay. Yeah, okay, guys, everything in here is also doing quite well. Especially my new flowers over there, the mint over there, these two marigolds, and also the onions and all that around. 
including all that area over there that's all doing quite well and along with other distortions here the leaves of these plants here are absolutely massive look at this I don't think I've ever seen my nasturtium flowers this one of my nasturtium leaves this big actually and it's quite really amazing I'm actually amazed by it okay yeah I've got another plant over there as you guys might have noticed I've mulched here like I've said before this has been mulched this here has been mulched same with everything in here Including in there, I replaced the mulch. I'm not too sure about here, but I think I mulched it because it looks like it's all these wood chips here. The top of the soil there. Yeah. Sweet potato seems to be taking over slightly. Yeah, it's an absolutely massive thing here. Okay. Geez, since when it get so windy out now. Okay, as you guys might have noticed, I've got my tomato plant here. I'm jam tomato. This is usual, jam tomato. And then look at this thing. This dragon fruit here. And we're actually really fast here. Ow, stabbed me. It's going really fast with a nice thorn wet. Let's see. And she really awesome not like this dragon fruit. I think I can also see the garden from this point. Mmm, it's actually really awesome at the moment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, I'm very happy with everything in the garden at the moment. And I'll bring you guys in the next episode. Maybe something a little bit different than this, but like, uh, yeah. Yeah, if you guys like, subscribe, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.